Hi, I'm Yunsup Lee, co-founder and CTO at Sci5, and I live in Redwood City, California, in the Bay Area. So we build RISC-V processors and RISC-V-based SOCs. RISC-V is a new free and open instruction set architecture that I started with a couple folks from UC Berkeley when I was a graduate student at Berkeley. Uh, the coolest thing about what we're doing is we're using functional programming language like Scala to go build hardware. The most interesting one for me is software architecture because building chips or processors is, are inherently a very complex thing and if you don't organize your entire code base very well then it's, it gets very complicated. I think the key of building these great complex systems is to make sure that your system is organized in the right way with the right interfaces. So yes, software architecture is the most important thing to me. I think, I think reuse, reuse, reuse. I think the best form of building a complex system is to not write any new code. And I think, you know, um, one of the most important things, best practices that I think are important is reuse. And, and in order to reuse a lot of things, the most important thing uh, becomes interfaces of a system. So architecting the right interfaces in a system will become very important. Today at the conference, I met a lot of people who are passionate about functional programming and Scala, and I would just like to understand how they organize their code base, you know, what type of best practices they have on building these complex systems, and I would love to go find a way to apply them to building hardware more productively together. I tried a couple different functional programming languages before. I think there were pros and cons about it. I think, you know, I first learned Scala about 10 years ago, let's say. You know, when I was a graduate student at Berkeley, the people downstairs were uh, building Spark, the, the very popular data processing engine written in Scala, and they encouraged us to go look at Scala. And, you know, since then, we started building hardware using Scala, and you know, I'm not looking back. I'm not going back to the previous world where I was using other languages to go build hardware. And I think if we can build a Scala community around building hardware, I think we can build hardware in a much productive way and, you know, in a more open source friendly way. And I just want to see a lot of people getting more interested into hardware. And I just love to see how, you know, Scala is going to change the hardware community. You said favorite things and uh, favorite people? You know, at, at scale, scale at the Bay, I've met a lot of people who are not just interested in software, but, you know, building complex systems. And, you know, the reason why I came here was to go find people who intersect, intersect between Scala and hardware. And, you know, the cool thing is that I already met a couple folks who are interested in that. <laughs>